The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. I remember when uh, we entered the seminary way back in 1988, we started to be 49 young people graduating from high school. And then uh, we were the first batch for the Davao Bay College Seminary for six months. When we reached first year college, from 49 we were 39. And then in the second year, we became 29, and then 25 in the third year college, and 23 graduated in college. Ten of us from Davao proceeded to the theological studies. But out of the ten, only four of us were able to make it to the priesthood. We were wondering, the four of us, why our classmates who were intelligent, our classmates who were so also good, and uh, they are so dedicated, supposedly, to the life of the priesthood, did not make it to the end. Our conclusion was, when God calls us, His call is very personal. That's why, in the Gospel today, and Jesus first and foremost, prayed in the mountain. He went up to the mountain to pray because for him, every important decision has to be reflected upon. Every important decision has to be prayed over so that he did not end make any important decision in his life like when he chose the twelve to become his committee to help him when he carried the cross, started to carry the cross, to pray in Gethsemane. Spending time in silence, praying is so important for Jesus. Maybe we can also ask ourselves, how much time do we spend before God every day? Do we spend times of silence just in order to listen to Him, to refer to Him all our decisions in life? When I entered the Pauline's bookstore in Bolton, Davao City, one time I met a lady, a friend of mine. She was so surprised why I was there in the bookstore. I was also surprised why she was there. But I, I know from her, daily, she goes to the chapel of the bookstore. Why? She spends at least one hour every day in order to pray. If she is... In the city, he, she always goes there. I was really touched by her dedication. And that challenged me. If she 
who is only an ordinary lay woman can make it every day to spend time in silence how much more for me a priest for that matter a second day as i have said the call of god the vocation that we have is always personal we might not be able to believe that jesus knows each one of us inside out that is why in the gospel today he really called the twelve by name we are surprised why jesus really called them by name because names are very personal they a lot of those who were chosen were also sinners themselves if we are to judge them they might not pass our own criteria of what it means to follow the lord because a lot of them are uneducated like simon only a fisherman and uh, there was also simon of the zealot party a rebel during his time and uh, matthew a tax collector but we are surprised why jesus calls them because the call of god is personal he knows us inside out despite of our limitations despite of our weaknesses the lord wants us to participate and to cooperate in his work of salvation maybe we can ask ourselves despite our limits despite our weaknesses how we answer the call of god are we willing to meet the lord in our everyday experience when we are at work when we are in the office when we are resting when we are relaxing have we heard the call of god telling us you do your best today because i have called you by name maybe this is our second reflection and thirdly my dear brothers and sisters because jesus was so prayerful because jesus always referred himself to the father he always relied on the power of the father even though many people came to him he was not out he was not short of his power in fact he was able to heal everyone because everyone sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them where did this power come from the power of jesus comes from his constant relationship from his prayer life with the lord that is why one time when a priest was made a monsignor he was told by the layman now monsignor because you are already a monsignor not anymore an ordinary father or priest you must be so be you must be very busy now you might not have time anymore to pray but the monsignor answered the more busy i am the more i need time to pray because without spending time to pray i will become weak that's why my dear friends power comes from our constant relationship with god power comes from our constant referral to our mission with the father as so my dear friends let us pray that with the mission of the twelve we will be able to once again realize the importance of prayer life and that the lord calls us personally despite of our own weaknesses and let us rely that power will come out of us to become a missionary if we only relate with him constantly mm -hmm.